Hey, good morning. Jesus is the Lord of God of all the earth. He's Lord. And I'm so glad the word works. Blessed. I am blessed, blessed, blessed. I'm blessed in my body. I'm blessed in my bank accounts. I'm blessed in my family. I'm blessed when I go in. I'm blessed when I come out. I'm blessed. And you are. You're blessed. Now, I want to, might be a little long-winded today, but when somebody gives you something, you have to receive it, and then you have to use it to get the benefits of it. I had somebody give me this watch, very, very, very nice watch. Um, I was out cutting the grass, because I didn't know it's worth anything, and my daughter said to me, let me look at that, and I showed it to her. She said, Dad, that's a very nice watch. You ought not be cutting grass in that. Well, I went and put it in my uh, where I keep my good stuff and didn't wear it for months and finally it dawned on me it's not doing me no good if I don't wear it so I got it out and started wearing it you know somebody said well you know that's too nice to wear hey it don't do you no good if you don't use it now let me go over here and I want to read out of Psalm 116 and going to be a little long-winded today but I want you to get this watch what it says here in Psalm 116 about the way that we do it says verse 12 what shall I render unto the Lord for all of his benefits toward me? God's been good to Frank. Now, I want you to know I'm a blessed man. You hear me say that all the time. God's been real good to us. All of my kids are blessed. My grandkids are blessed. I'm a blessed man in health. You know, bills are paid. God's been good to me. But watch this. What shall I render? What shall I give God for all of the good things he's done for me? My, my, well, it just tells us here. And this is strong. It says, what shall I render unto the Lord for all the good things he benefits toward me? I will take the cup of salvation. Or in other words, I will take what he's offered me and use those benefits. Now, I'm going to tell this story. It's going to be a little lengthy. My mother and father passed quite a few years ago now. They never had much. Dad was just a steel worker, welder at the steel plant. Uh, but, you know, they had a little, little small savings. And, and then they had this little home that I was raised in. And when they uh, passed, we sold that home. It didn't, you know, what the bills that they owed and other things, it was just a few, very few thousand dollars. But what my sister and I did, because we are joint heirs, so y'all going to get that. My sister and I split what was left over after we paid all the bills and made sure everything was taken care of. Now, the first thing I did was I let her take the money and her and her husband go to Hawaii for a couple of weeks because that was a dream of their life. Then when they got back, what little bit was left over, we split equally. Now, I have no idea what she did with her inheritance. I can tell you what I did with mine. You know, it was, I'm pretty sure it was less than $10,000. It was not a whole lot, but I went and paid some bills. And then after I paid some bills, I bought me an old used fishing boat so that I could go have fun in it. It was mine to do with what I wanted to do. It was hers to do with what she wanted to do, but I had to receive it. I had to take the check to the bank. I had to cash the check. I had to use what was there. So I'm blessed. Get that. I'm blessed. In fact, I believe I'm so blessed. I couldn't even tell you how blessed I am, but what I have to do with everything that God has provided for me is not just be thankful. You know, somebody, well, just be thankful. You know, you got your house, you got food, you got, you know, you're, you're alive. I hate that statement. Well, today I got up and I'm not six feet under. God, I hate that. I'm blessed, 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 blessed. And I'm not going to just be thankful. I'm going to receive everything from God. Now watch this. I could still have my few thousand dollars in the bank and never enjoyed it. See, God's not a respecter of persons. God's not going to bless me more than he's going to bless you, but he is a respecter of faith because the only way to receive from God is by faith because the Bible says without faith, it's impossible to please him. Well, faith is just taking. In fact, Matthew eleven eleven says the violent take it that's the kingdom of God. They take it by force. Don't let the devil talk you out of the blessings that God's already given to you, and all you got to do is go fetch it. Hey, have a blessed day. Know that God's on your side. He's got you on his mind. He wants you to be blessed. He's already blessed you. Walk in the blessings and take everything, every benefit, every good thing he has for you. And until I'm with you tomorrow, be blessed. Remember, Jesus is Lord. Thank God the word works.